my money? I said, where is my money? I needed to cook something for you to eat when you return. That was why I used the money. You needed to cook something. That is why you used my money without telling me. You I will kill you. I will. You can't. I said. Oh my God. Listen to me. Listen to me. You have less than one hour. I said less than one hour to get my money back to me. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Now stop getting my. I will go and get you that. You're still here. No, no. You're still here. Without my money, and you will see what I will do to you. Come back to this house. Tell me who gave you the gods to touch my money without my consent. You, you, eh? You. I will show you that I was. What? How did I even end up with this woman? How? It's all right. Asukwa, sir, why am I paying you in this compound if not to do your job? You are playing too much and I don't like it. Sorry, sir. You have to limit the way you play. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, the reason I called both of you is because this is almost 2.30 p.m. and as you know, my son will soon be back from school. I have an important meeting with a colleague in a few minutes from now, so I have to be there. So I want both of you to take a cab and then go pick up my son from school. What of course? Like, yes, both of you. You understand? Yes, sir. So, Nana, I want you to accompany him. Okay. Uh, follow him. You guys will get the cab and then go and pick him from school. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Very good. Let me Come back. Where are you going? Sir, I want to change it to something better. This one is okay. Where is your problem? It's not okay. It's this is, this is. Go and change it to something better. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so, let me. Uh, hold on, okay. You go and change. Eh? Yes, sir. Let me. This should be enough for the car. Uh, so what? Sir. Hold on, let her, let her hold it. No, not you. I will drive. Who drive? Which motor will, will, will you want to leave my car while you spoil it? I said, get a car. That is the essence of that money. Yes, sir. Now go, go, go. Go and wait for her outside. She will change. Yes, sir. You, as soon as she's done, you follow him. Before you go. You guys want to do this. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. You don't
daughter of the Most High. How was school today? School was fine, that was well. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Mommy stepped out. I guess she went to Bogonogo to get some stuff for the house. Dad, are you sure? Uh, uh, of course I'm sure now. Come here. Mm, yes! Oh, don't you believe your daddy now? No, I don't. Dad, don't tell me what you want to do. I am not the reason we fought today. You know your mom always gets on my nerves. Hmm? I mean, she doesn't even know how to talk to her husband. Well, don't worry. I promise it will not happen again, okay? I'll make sure no matter how she gets on my nerves, I'll control my temper, okay? Come here. So, hope your teacher did not touch you today in school. Because if she did, I will so deal with her. Hmm? Mm, see my daughter's leg so fresh. Ah, and this one too. Yeah. I will not let your leg touch the floor. I will take you inside like that. <laughs> This one, two five. Two five. Those are fish costs, well, well. No, you're no good. Fish costs, you're no good, answer. No, no, no. Fish costs, well, well. No, I take them two thousand because of you. Because of you beg me. Because of you beg me, two five, I go sell them. But I take them two thousand. Why are you looking at her like that? Do you know her? Of course I do. It's no long she located to this thing. Okay, that woman that I heard her husband beat her at any slightest provocation. Exactly. Oh. oh but why is she begging for money? Maybe her husband has decided to starve at you. What can she do if not to beg for money? Is it that bad? <laughs> Sister, oh, what's that made that animal? Why do you pity her? Was she forced into the marriage? Why are you talking like that? Eh? It can be your turn at any time. Oh. No, that's it. This is that's the line. Mm. Wait, let me just give her something. Eh? Wait. What? Leave shift. Yeah, madam, you know the bag. I'm coming. Mm. Hello, Just manage it. You say what? Manage it. Manage. Jesus. This is no management. Che. Che, thank it's okay. you. It's okay. Thank you. God bless you. You are welcome. Um, please, um, where do you stay? Do you mind if I pay you a visit one of these days? Eh? Where do you stay? Can I visit you one of these days? Okay. Eh. I still am number 25 old school road, but please don't come up. Don't come here. Yeah? Don't come, please. Why? See, my husband does not like people coming to visit me in the house. I'm so sorry. I was told how your husband constantly dehumanizes you. And I am really sorry about that. I'm so okay. sorry. Huh? I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah? My dear. Everyone has their cross to carry. I think this is mine. I'll carry it alone. All the same, thank you for your concern. This is not your cross to carry alone. At least not anymore. Hmm? I'll come see you tomorrow. We have a lot to talk about. Okay? 
Um, sorry, can I have your number? So when I'm coming, I'll call you. Annie! <laughs> Thy sister, you're yeah, fine, oh. Mm. When you're enjoying city, how will you remember somebody? I hear you. My husband is fine. We thank God. I've missed you. Tina, sir, baby! I have been calling you for the past one minute and you are here and you didn't answer me. Why? Obi, I'm sorry. I was on the phone. I didn't hear you. How would you hear me? No, tell me. How would you hear me when you are engrossed on a conversation with your secret lover and you think I don't know? Alex. Obi, how can you say something like that? You know I can never cheat on you, not for anything in this whole world. Mm. Now, who were you talking with on the phone? I was talking with Annabelle, my friend. How dare you lie to me? How dare you lie to me? You look me in the eyes and you... And you I'll, 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 so, I'll so deal with you. I'll, I'll so deal with you and you will know. I'll so mess you up. You look me in the eyes and you lie to me. You are scared of me? For what? Now, let me have that phone. Let me have the phone now! Let me have the phone! Let me see how you talk with that your secret lover again! Rubbish! Nonsense! So men are this wicked! My God! No. It's okay, but see, don't cry, okay? Don't cry, please. I'll come see you tomorrow and we'll talk about everything, okay? It's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Thank you once again. <laughs> Bye. Take care. <laughs> I just said let's go. Esther, you must tell me what to do Esther! Wait. Are you going to tell me what you were discussing with her or not? Hey, Barry, why do you think I was having any obsolete conversation with her? Please, stop all this, your grammar, and tell me what I need to know. Fine. She was only narrating her ordeal to me. There you go again. Hey, Barry, can we at least go home? This sun is hot. Like scorching hot. I'll tell you everything when we get home. Please. Why can't you tell me now? Hey, baby, this is the road. Do you want to start talking on the road? Look, can we go home? Please stop shouting at me. Please. I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not shouting. I'll tell you when we get home. Please. Huh? Can we go? So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, my boy, how are you? Fine, daddy. Uh -huh, good. I can see you're looking all smart enough, so I, I guess school was fine today. Yes, daddy. Good, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm actually stepping out. As you can see, man. I have a meeting, a business meeting actually, and I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay, Dad. Do you want to teach you what we taught? Of course. Ah, oh, my boy, you always teach me everything you taught. Hmm? So, what is there is, 
as soon as I go out now and come back, he will do just that, okay? Get that. That's my boy. That's my boy. Alright, give daddy another hug. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Alright, that's my boy. Where is this girl? Nana! Please come. Yeah, Nana, um, as you can see, I'm, I, I want to go out. I'm stepping out to see a friend. It's actually a business meeting. Okay, so I want you to take care of Stanley. Yes, Make sure he takes off his clothes, takes his bath, and then you give him something to eat. All right? Yes, Good. Stanley, I'll see you when I come back, okay? All right, go with Nana so she can take care of him. All right, go with Nana. And I'll make sure you take care of him more. Uh -huh, good. All right. That's my phone. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Asuko! Where is this boy? I'm running late. Asuko! Where are you? Come, 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 come. Open the gate. Get 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 the I don't understand. Your mother is sick in the village. Yes, sir. And they said you should send 2,000 for hospital bill. Yes, sir. Which hospital takes 2,000 naira for treatment? I don't mean, know. No, the hospital is a matter of sending them to the and said the hospital bill is This is, this is going to be real. 2,000 naira. Which hospital takes 2,000 naira for, for treatment? Anyways, no problem. Just get the gate. When I come back, I'll do it. Yes, thank you, sir. You got it. Open the gate, open the gate. Open the gate. Where do you think you're coming from? I said, where do you think you're coming from? Where else? I was out looking for the money like you ordered. Where did you get the money from? The most important thing is you have your money back. Hey, oh, oh, you have grown wings. Eh? Eh? Please don't come to me. Now tell me which man gave you this money. I said, which man gave you this money? Said, who gave you this money? What man gave you this money? Hey, hey, stop it, you're hurting me. I said, where did you get this money from? Who man gave me any money? I was out in the market begging for the money all day. Hey. Hey. You went begging. You went to the market to beg. So you have not only decided to drag my name to the mud. You have also decided to bring disgrace and shame to me. But why would you have me to? Why would you have me to? You said if I don't get the money, I should not come back. Hey. You, 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 you want to kill me, Mister? You. you want to kill me?
construção estaria em construção de Ah, see you. Good morning. Good morning, my darling. I see you're set for school. Yes. How are you? How's your husband? Is he? No, he's not. Esther, please. Let me just call you and see if I can speak. Please sit down and wait for me. It's okay. Be a good girl in school, though. Don't look for anybody's trouble. Bye. Adios, man. You don't say I said not to come out today. This morning, eh? It's not too much. I tell you, we don't stand here this morning. No passing there. It's not too much. Oh, oh, oh. See that move. See that move. Shut it. Shut it. You don't get yourself. You don't get yourself. You free yourself now. Life don't get you picked. Hello, bro. Hello. Just kill yourself. Hello, nigga. Nigga. I don't carry on my dad. I go wait for my client when they come for airport. Okay. How long has this been going on for? My sister. Since we came back to the village, or oh, ever since we got here. But have you tried to find out what you, what his grievances are towards you? I mean, I have. I have done everything to please Alex. But the more I try, the more I get in peace. The only thing I have not done is to kill myself. Yes. He said I am the cause of his misfortune. I don't understand. What does that even mean? How? Imagine. Don't worry, my dear. It's a long story. It's not something I want to start talking about. So. Chichi, we are now friends. And that means you can share everything and anything with me. And besides, I have all the time in the world. So please, I want to hear it. Tell me. While we were in the city, Alex was working with this top politician who had his eyes on me. He wanted me. He wanted to sleep with me. So I told Alex about it. Do you know what he said? He said I should go ahead and sleep with him. What? Alex said I should go ahead and sleep with his boss. <laughs> I just could not. I couldn't see myself sleeping with another man. How was I supposed to do that? <laughs> As a result, his boss fired him. Things started getting worse by the day. We came back to zero. We could barely feed. So we had to come back to the village. The moment we got here, Alex has seen me as an enemy. There is nothing I do in this house that seems good to him. He beats me at every chance he gets. I am scared for my life. I am scared for what is going to become of me. 
you don't have to cry. But your husband is such a devil. I mean, I cannot even believe he wants you to sleep with somebody else. What is this world turning into? It's okay. <laughs> See, from now on, everything will be fine. I promise you that. It's okay. You don't have to cry anymore. Just, just take it easy. Everything will be fine, okay? I promise you. Everything will be okay. It's okay. This is what we need to. The soul is good. Do you men drive joy in between your wives? I don't understand. What do you consign Agoro with overload? I'll be waiting to consign me. Men they beat their wife or come. Be like say your mouth. This is your mouth now where you take the ask me this question. You don't lead you enter where your husband will be your boyfriend and they beat you now. Because see. For you, eh? They supposed they beat you everywhere well, because for you to ask me this question, let me say your mouth to the run, cho, 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 so they gonna beat you all the time. What you consign me now? Hey, not even Mala knows for it. That question is directed to you. Why do you drive joy in beating your wife? Go by and them. Come. What's your problem now? Now, bad thing I do carry you come your ass. I mean, this one that I will give me now. I make you feel say you get right to question me now. Now, jump up in our question. Be that one. Come, be careful. Oh, why the poor clothes for matter when you concern you now? I mean, you marry my wife, give me. See, be careful with me. Oh, be very, very careful with me. No, they try me. Oh, no, they try me for this time. No, they try me. Now, you marry my wife, give me. Now, you help me pay the bride price. Now, you don't feel them. Why they ask me that kind of question now? Hey, what do you want my landlords for you, though? Why not be a you I love Jesus. I love you. Where is that? Good for nothing, woman. You! You! So you have the guts to discuss me outside with people. No, no, you have the infantry to discuss your husband with people outside. Who does that? I, mean, I don't understand what you're talking about. Hmm? I didn't discuss it with anybody. You don't. I'm, I'm not making sense. Like, you're indirectly telling me that I'm talking nonsense. No, like, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm pushing.
What is it? Something is not right. I don't understand. What is not right? We need to look for her. Move! I have to look for her. Esther! Look at my car, look at my car. She's dead. Eh? Yeah. Like this woman. Yeah. Take this woman to the hospital. What are you waiting for? People should stop this. I didn't know her that. Okay, they say you they say you keep pursuing. Why, like Why are they speaking English like this? Why are they speaking English like this? You keep pursuing this. Help, help me now. Let, let's help you. Help, help, carry on. Let's carry 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 on. I'm not serious. Please, please, please. Kiss somebody. You pay for it. Easy, easy, easy. Open your door, open your door. Okay, help, 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 help. Come, are you? Come, come, come with me now. Come with me. Let's let's go. Let's go. I know you. Are you saying you're going to leave? Okay, I know that. I know you. I'm going. You. Okay, See, please come, come now. I don't know. Don't worry. Send this woman to the hospital. Okay, Go to where? Me, I'm going. You. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, carry on. Go hospital. They tell me. Okay, me will take you. Don't kill. Don't make me. I didn't make boys come here for you. I didn't kill her now. Okay, enter here now. Do you have another fight? Hey. And who are you people that are questioning my daughter like jump agents? My name is Esther. Who asked for your name? I said, what are you doing in my house? I came to look for the woman you constantly dehumanize. Unfortunately, I cannot find her anywhere. You have chased her away, right? Hey, come here. So you came to my house to look for my wife? <clears throat> Please, how long has my wife known someone like you? That is not necessary. You, you, you good for nothing woman bitter. Eh? Oh. You call me? You call, you call, you call. How dare you? If you try it! If you try it, I am going to make sure you spend the rest of your miserable life behind bars. Hey! And if I don't find that woman, you will regret the day you were born. I can assure you that. You will see. Hey! Oh, 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 hey! O
dogs that have their shit on the leg instead of the neck. Eh? It's obvious. She would have gone somewhere to cool off her head. Until everything subsides. Somewhere like where Barry. I wish I knew. Maybe I'm at Anna's side. You never can tell. Do you know I'm at Anna home? No, I don't. Oh. Esther, you feel so concerned about this lady. Or is there something else you're not telling? Eberi, there is nothing else. You know exactly what I studied in school. I am a human activist. I hate to see people shed tears. Especially if it's coming from a man to a woman. That good for nothing husband, woman bitter, has no rights. He has no right to maltreat that innocent woman like that. I, re I really wish there is something I can do right now. I am so helpless. Obviously, as it stands now, there is nothing you can do about it. The woman in question is nowhere to be found. Regardless, I am not going to relent in my search for her. And if by the end of tomorrow, I do not see this woman, I will go and arrest that good for nothing husband of hers. Esther, you do no such thing. Oh, son, um, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. I know I, I don't actually know her. She she's the lady that ran into the road while I was driving down the street, and my car almost knocked her down. And I just thank God that my car didn't knock her down. Mm -hmm. You know, as a result of the fear and everything, she, she fainted. That's why I brought her home. Okay. But that will ship away again. Of course. Of course. Like I said, I didn't knock her down. My car did not touch her at all. It's just a fear. By the time she gets a little rest, I'm sure she will come back to normal. Oh. She's even she's even awake. Hold on, come on, go sit, sit, sit. Oh, you're awake. Are you okay? You're up. Thank God. Are you alright? Where am I? Where am I? You are in my house. Yes, I live here. Yes, I live here. Uh, okay, you're in my house like I told you before, and my name is Patrick, and this is my son, Stanley. You know, a, a while ago you actually ran into the road and as I was coming my car almost knocked you down. And thank God I didn't knock you down, you know. And um, instead of taking you to the hospital, I decided to bring you here because I know it's a shock. You know, it's the shock from, you know, the the whole scenario. You know, that's why I brought you here. I'm sorry. I don't know why I ran into you or your car or how I ended up here. I'm sorry. But let me ask you. I mean, what would have possibly made a beautiful woman like you run into the road like that? I mean, was anyone after you? I mean, well, what happened? Can you tell me? Can you talk to me? Please. Yeah. Before I can say anything, can I please make a call with your cell phone? I need to call a friend. And I need to call her now, please. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No problem, no problem. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, here. Yeah. So, are you sure you're okay? You're yeah, fine. Okay, you can call me fine. Uh. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm happy you're all you're off now.
What's happening? I hope you have not brought me here to tell me all those irrelevant things again. Irrelevant? More irrelevant? I beg, forget all this your bongo grief drama. See, who be that dead body on a car carry commas? That woman. Dead body? You know, Sam, no, you know, you know, dead. I should go and not talk. Dead body? Who says she's dead? You know, Sam, she's dead. You know, Sam, she's dead. Ha! Come. Look at this, my nice dress that Oga bought for me. I want it to come out here thinking that you are going to tell me something good. Are you expecting me to like you, Abby? <laughs> More folly for you. If I fall on top of you, you go like you go to remain. Even if blind person, I go try see road. Move for for you for this house. That woman not there. She be unconscious. Unconscious. Where they shoot the gun when she will come there unconscious for this house, for gas. Let me tell you, as you're looking at me right now, I'm going back to my duty post before Oga start looking for me. I don't have proper, I don't just have one eye second for your time. See, I know what? I can't. I can't. Look, you're in charge of all this compound. Look, you're in charge. Why you not go no? Why you not go no? This person thinks one thing, you know, you use your sins. Take me. Your plot. I really cannot believe that some men in this 21st century will be this mean, wicked, and heartless to their own wives. I mean, it, it's really unbelievable. When I first met Alex, Ibisia had come to me to tell me about this day. To tell me that one day Alex will lay his hands against me. I would have looked at the sea in the eyes and told him or her that he or she was alive. Just in a split of seconds, and my loving husband changed into a beast. <laughs> there is nothing I do that pleases him. Everything I do irritates him. Even if I spill my blood, he still won't please Alex. And then I ask myself, where? Where did I go wrong? What did I not do right? What? <laughs> With everything you have said, your husband is. is it's really something else and I'm pissed right now and as a matter of fact he has to be arrested he needs to face the law I mean he can't be treating you like this and, and go scot-free no let me call my GP friend he has to be arrested now no no Mr. Patrick no please listen to me He's my husband. I still love him. I do not know what impact it will make on my daughter seeing her father behind bars. I cannot even take it as well. That's how much I love him. I appreciate your care, I appreciate your concern. I I know you are concerned and you want to get me justice. I know. Please, please, I beg you. Don't arrest him. I beg you. Don't don't just I'm just going to let him be because of what you just said. 
because of your daughter. But anyways, if not for everything you have said, believe me, he should face the law. I mean, no matter what you have, no matter the issue you have with your wife, it's not enough reason for you to begin to hate her. It's not enough reason for you to raise your hand on your wife, your own wife. It's wrong. You know, all the while I had issues with my wife back then in Europe. I didn't hit her. On no occasion did I raise my hand on her. I mean, why will your husband continually hit you? I mean, continue, continue to beat you or something. He said, it's wrong. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry about what happened between you and your wife. Ex brother. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, that's in the past now. It's okay. It's okay. You really have to put yourself together, right? Everything will be fine. It's okay. It's okay. Ah. Looks like someone is at the gate. Yes. Oh, okay, the one you called. Yes, I guess, I guess so. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sure the gate man will bring them in. Just try and put yourself together, okay? So now not fine. You are looking for the lady that is your boss. Which lady? Can you just go in there and tell your boss that some people are here to see you? Some people. Can you just go oh. and tell your boss, please? Oh, Sandra. Sandra. Baby, I come and eat your food is ready, okay? Hmm? You're not hungry. But you've not eaten anything since you came back from school. I'm not gonna eat anything until mom comes back. What? Trust me, I'm ready to starve to death. She look at me. You're ready to starve to death because your mom is not in the house. Sandra. Sandra. Hey. What have I done to myself? If this kid died in my hand, what would I say? Where, where do I start looking for, for, for the mother now? Where, where would I start looking for the mother now? Eh? Eh? Alex, Alex, come down. Control your temper. You will not hear. Why? Why? What if anything happens to this girl now? What would I say? Eh? Where would I start looking for the mother now? Where would I start from? Eh? Okay, Sandra, yeah, I'll come and eat eh? After eating now. Uh, I need to go home. I know that my daughter will be terribly worried. She will look for me. You can't go like that. You just can't go. My sister, how can you say that? Oh, become on my daughter. Your daughter is his daughter. And I am sure he will take care of her. Yes. So, um, I think I will still agree with what she said. You know, you need to stay at least a day. You know, by the time he misses you, I know that he will not have the mind of laying his hands on you again. Alright? So stay, stay. 
You're very nice, Mr. Patrick. Thank you. God bless you. It's okay. Mr. Everything is fine. Thank you. Thank you. What if he had let me die there on that road? <laughs> what if you did not bring me here? What would have become of me? What would, what would have become of me? Okay, okay. It's okay, don't cry. Alexis, to be a good man. You had good times, good memories. How my husband changed into a beast is something I cannot explain. My brother, thank you. My God will bless you. Amen. Um, you see, sometimes it baffles me how some men treat their women. I know we all have our problems differently. You understand? But it's not enough reason for any man to want to hit a woman. You understand? Uh, uh, for me, I had, you know, serious issues that would have made both of us to start fighting each other. But for me, I don't hit a woman. So uh, the only thing I did was I went there and I brought my son back home to Nigeria. That's why you see I, I'm not living with him. So we're just the only ones living in this house. Feel free to stay here. I understand what you are saying. I do. The thing is, even if I decide to stay, I've been like this all day. This is all I've got. How do I go about it? Just, I don't have any change of clothes. I don't know how to handle that. Don't worry, okay? After now, I will step out and get you something else to change into. Okay? Mm. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. You're so nice, Mr. Patrick. God bless you. Amen. Mr. Patrick. Yes. yes. It's not for you. It wasn't for you. I don't know where I'd have been now. What if you had left me to die there on that road? Hmm. Oh, what if nobody came to my rescue? So oh, that will come of me. Don't cry. It does Amen. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Looking for something. Eh? She's my wife. She's poor. She's poor, eh? But then she she's shapey like she have hips. D did you see her? No, I didn't see her. Eh? I didn't see her. At all. Hey. Wow. Is everything okay? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. It's 
Must <laughs> You see, Daddy cares, and I bought you mineral on gala. I know you like this one. Uh, come and eat. Oh, you eat. No, it's a little bit. My mom says if I die, let me die. Uh, hi, my daughter. Stop saying this. Die now. You have to eat something. I mean, look at you. You're machating. Eh? Just try to eat something, please. See. You are all I have, oh. You shouldn't be talking about this death. I don't know. You're scaring me. Eh? You're all I have in this life. Hmm? Babe, I, I I know you you brought this policeman here to arrest me. But please, officer, before you arrest me, I, I want to talk with my wife. Please. <clears throat> my wife, I I know I'm not worthy to behold your presence. But still find a way to forgive me. I'm very sorry for, for everything that I've done to you. I was only acting as a man that has lost virtually everything. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry and I promise I will never raise my hand on you again. No matter what. If I, I swear with my father's grave, I'll, I'll, never, I'll never raise my hand on you again. Please forgive me. Please. It will never happen again. I already promised our daughter that I will never raise my hands on you again. Please. Just th this one day that you left, life was like hell for me. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry, please. Officer, you can arrest me now. I deserve it. Mr. Alex. Sir. I am not a police officer. Neither am I here to arrest you. You see, because of your constant uh, maltreatment of your wife, she almost lost her life. You know? But as God may have it, she's still alive. And so I brought her here so both of you can make amends. She loves you so much and the best thing you can do for her right now is to love her genuinely. In fact, unconditionally. This is your daughter. And they all need your love, your fatherly love and everything. Alright? So please, 
make amends with your wife and take her back again as your beloved wife. All right? I'm very sorry. Please help me and beg her. Tell her that from the depth of my heart, I'm sorry, and I will never raise my hands on her again. Please. Please, please. Thank you.